Most things, when they're heated, expand. They get bigger. And if they're long, they get longer. Most things, but not everything. Metal certainly does, and I'll show you that with a very simple device that you can use and make yourself. First of all, there's a block of wood here, and it's got a nail in it. And that nail's had the head removed so that one piece of the metal can slot over that with a little hole, and that's going to hold the end of this piece of metal steady. It's a length of iron, but any metal will do. It stops that end moving, so if there's any movement, it'll happen at the other end. And that we can detect with a pointer, which is simply made with a pin poked through a piece of cardboard. The cardboard's the pointer, and the pin is a roller. If I put it on there, you can see how it's going to work. Rest it on that block of wood, let the pointer hang down, and put this piece of metal on top. And if we do something to make that metal grow in length, you can see it's going to roll over the top of the pin, and the pointer will go in that direction. All right, let's set it back to uh, hanging down at the bottom. And so that we don't get mistaken, we'll just make a little mark at the bottom of that pointer, and that's before the iron has done anything. Now we heat the iron up with a candle. Here goes. In the middle, we'll move the candle along. You can see that already that point has started to move. It's coming back slowly towards the candle. And that's the direction we'd expect if the iron was heating up and getting longer. And the hotter it gets, the more it'll roll over that pointer, and the more the pointer will move around. So let's make a mark there to show the direction of expansion. It's coming up in that direction there. Well, I said that metal expands, but not all things do. Most things do, but not all. And one surprising difference is in rubber. If you take a large rubber band like this, you can show that the opposite is going to occur. We'll use the same device and stretch the rubber band, a good thick one here, around the block of wood. Now, if you do this at home or at school, remember that putting rubber near a flame is generally safe enough, but it could catch fire and be troublesome. So don't do it without an adult, a teacher or a parent or somebody older who can help you. And they'll be as interested in it as you are. All right, there's the rubber band around there, and we'll put the pointer back and we'll place the tip of it where it started off. Now, if that rubber were to expand the same as the metal, we expect the point to go in the direction of the arrow. But I think you'll see a difference. I'll put it down on the table and use a more controllable flame to heat it up on the same side. Let's see if the pointer does the same thing. Here we go, here's the flame. Playing on the rubber, and you can see it does exactly the opposite. When you heat the rubber, it doesn't expand, it contracts. It's very peculiar stuff. And one of the peculiarities it has is to remain flexible while tough, which makes it excellent for car tyres.